I'm Omondi Gabri Lovino from Kenya. I work as a research laboratory technologist with the University of Washington, University of Nairobi, at the Pediatrics Collaborative Research Laboratory. I was, I was recommended for the Mark Foundation Embryology Training by the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Kenya. Major challenges facing our fertility patients in my country is that uh, we don't have public facilities so far which offer the services uh, like the assisted reproductive technology which uh, we have been trained on here at the Kastruba Medical College and uh, the Mark Foundation Embryology Training Program. Uh, the current mode of treatment for infertility in the country uh, includes the in vitro fertilization, ICSI, IUI, but most of them are mainly affordable at the private centers, which are quite expensive for a common person in the society. The Mark, the Mark Foundation Embryology Training Program for me uh, will contribute a lot in mentoring other colleagues who would wish to undergo the embryology training and it will also help me in intervening in cases of male infertility, especially the semen analysis and the semen part of it where I feel it's a basic part which will be available in most of the public facilities in my country and also it will inspire me to educate the community more about the fertility and infertility issues and reduce the stigma among those facing the challenges. Social perception uh, on women facing infertility issues has led to a lot of stigmatization, especially among women, uh, since most of them can't come out and talk openly about the challenges they are undergoing, so they have to do it secretly. But it's a common trend that uh, not everyone will be able to afford a private treatment for the infertility issues. Uh, therefore, I believe with the training, I can be able to inspire more to come out and seek assistance and treatment so that at least they can be able to achieve one of their dream goals, which is to have children. Male infertility in my country is also a major challenge uh, since most of the male do perceive infertility to be coming from the female side of it. But uh, there's a need for a thorough education and public sensitization about male infertility and infertility in general to avoid stigmatization of both male and female. Uh, before coming for the Mark Embryology Training Program, I had expected uh, to come, see the place, be able to learn more about the infertility issues in the laboratory and beyond in the clinic setup, which most of the goals were fully achieved and I'm happy going back home with the knowledge to transform and inspire more and assist in most cases regarding to laboratory aspect and fertility. Under the Mark Embryology Training Program, I've been able to undergo a thorough training in andrology, which deals mainly with male part of the infertility. Embryology, whereby one has to use technology in, in the laboratory so that they can be able to create babies in quotes and also crowd preservation whereby we try and use technology and modern equipment in preserving fertility in both male and female. After completion of the Mark Foundation Embryology Training Program, uh, getting back to the country, I'll use the knowledge gained from here in mentoring other young people who are interested in pursuing careers in embryology and reproductive sciences. And I'll also use the knowledge gained from here in sensitizing and educating the public on the importance of coming out and looking for assistance in case of infertility. To anyone aspiring to undergo the Mark Foundation Embryology Training Program, I would encourage them to keep on applying. Uh, the program has personally empowered me in that I've been able to appreciate the use of technology and science in improving humanity and giving hope to the future. I would like to thank the Mark Foundation for such an offer. It was an opportunity which came once in life. I would also like to thank the Ministry of Health from my country, Kenya, for the recommendation they did. I would also like to thank my mentors, mainly uh, Dr. Onyeke Gishui, uh, Dr. Kireki Omanwa, uh, Dr. Maureen Witi, and my employer as well for allowing me to come for the training. To all of them, thank you for this opportunity. I've learned a lot getting back home. I hope I'll continue teaching others and making them appreciate what science 
kandu to humanity. Kenya, 